Hello, my name is Cassandra Pionil. I'm an attorney in the Austin, Texas offices of Cordella Cordell. And I'm going to speak to you today about what to expect when you enter a courtroom. In many ways, a courtroom is like what you've seen on television. A judge will enter the courtroom. She will be wearing black robes. She will sit in an elevated position in the courtroom. All will stand when she enters and all will sit after she sits. You're expected to be silent during any court hearing. You should leave food, drinks, snacks outside the courtroom. You should not chew gum in court. But there's other things to keep in mind as well. At this point, when you're in the courtroom, you spend a great deal of time preparing your case. You don't necessarily want your appearance to detract from your message. So dress appropriately. Show your respect for the court by dressing in a manner that would show that you take this matter seriously. For instance, dress in business attire or business casual, depending on your county. Dress like you would to go to church. Don't wear flip-flops, cutoffs, or t-shirts with logos to court. There are other ways that you can prepare for a court hearing as well. Ask your attorney what time the hearing begins, and then make sure to show up with enough time to allow yourself to park and enter the courthouse before your hearing. If your hearing begins at 9, why not plan to be at the courthouse at 8.30 or 8.45? This will also give you time to speak to your attorney before your hearing begins. It may be helpful to look up the address of the courthouse or even look on a map as to where the courthouse is and ensure that you've given yourself enough time for travel. You can also prepare for court by asking your attorney some questions about the hearing. Ask your attorney where you should sit. Ask your attorney if you need to sit on the witness stand to answer questions or if you plan to stand in front of the judge. Remember that different types of hearings require different types of preparation. You spend a great deal of time preparing for the state. You want the court to, sh to know that you take this matter seriously. You want to show your respect. Do so by showing up on time, dressing in a manner that shows respect to the court, and refraining from making faces, smirking, or laughing while people are speaking. Again, my name is Cassandra Pionil. I'm an attorney in the Austin, Texas offices of Cordell & Cordell. Thank you for taking time to listen to this brief outline of what to do when you're in court.